Okay, uh, this is project three. Uh, my name is Addison Sears Collins, and this is for uh, 605.715.81 Spring 2019 uh, real time software uh, for embedded systems class at Johns Hopkins. And for this project, uh, we were required to develop an Arduino based uh, optical tachometer uh, or tachometer uh, that measures the speed of a brushless propeller. Uh, the speed of the propeller must be measured using an infrared emitter detector pair uh, using either round robin with interrupts or function cue scheduling. And the RPMs, which is revolutions per minute, must be captured over time, downloaded to a host, and graphed. So uh, you can see right here, here is my uh, Arduino uh, sketch console. I have all the code here uh, below. And uh, just sort of the main pieces of this program, you can see where I declared the different uh, variables. So I have a motor pin, which goes to pin 3 in Arduino. That's what's used to drive the transistor, which spins the uh, brushless uh, motor, which is attached to propeller. Uh, we also have a pin uh, 13 on the Arduino Uno, which goes to uh, the infrared LED that turns it off and on have the blade count, which is the count of the number of blades in the propeller. And that's going to be used in the calculations below to calculate the RPM. Uh, also have the brake number, which calculates the number of brakes uh, in the uh, transmission uh, between the infrared transmitter, which is infrared LED, and the uh, infrared uh, receiver, which is the uh, infrared phototransistor. So we have those two pieces on the board uh, which are facing towards each other and each time we get a break uh, in the beam between both of those we have to increase our counter, increment our counter by one. Have our uh, sentinel, our boolean flag which is used to stop the program. We're going to keep track of time using this time variable. Uh, going to capture the RPM so we declare that variable. Here's our setup, nice friendly welcome message. Time, comma, RPM in two different columns. We're going to use this so we can export the data to Excel at the end of the program so that we can uh, uh, track the uh, RPM over time. Here's our interrupts right here. We have attach interrupts, digital pin to interrupt two. Two is the uh, pin on the Arduino board where we are going to uh, read uh, from the digital input to, and we are going to trigger the interrupts on the falling uh, edge uh, of the beam. Here's our pin mode uh, for the infrared LED. This just this code right here just turns the infrared LED on and off or on actually. Uh, and then we have our pin for the motor uh, which sets that to output so we get ready to turn that that on and then we initialize our break number as well as our RPM to zero. Here's the main loop. I'm going to display the time and RPM to the serial monitor. Uh, I'm going to start the motor, have a separate uh, separate uh, method for that. And here is the main meat of the program. It basically says, well, not done. Uh, update the time and RPM every second. So you see 1,000 milliseconds right here. Uh, this no interrupts shuts down interrupts. While we do the calculation of the RPM, we want to uh, turn off interrupts. Then inside the meat of that code, while interrupts are currently off, we display the time and RPM to the serial monitor, check if the sentinel is entered in the, the program, and then restart the program at the end. So uh, that's uh, then it. Then when you enter the sentinel, it jumps to this infinite while loop. Here's our two methods down here. We have the method that starts the motor. We have our counter right here, which is our interrupt service routine. Uh, this function counts the number of uh, interrupts. Remember, that's the falling edge uh, of the uh, reading from the photo transistor there. Here we have a display time and RPM to the console, uh, and then a sentinel where we're going to end the program. So that's the program. Uh, and now we are going to head over to the uh, board, head over to the uh, uh, workbench, so we can go ahead and start this program. I'm actually going to take my laptop with me. So, 
Okay, so we're back. Okay, so have the code here. I am going to open up the serial monitor so we can get going. Execute the code. You can see in front of me here, here's the welcome message. Uh, it says, this program transmit the time and RPM of a propeller. Uh, press exclamation to end the program. Please enter the desired speed of the motor. And uh, this must be a value between 100 and 255. So I'm going to enter into here 100. And while I do that, I'm going to get the motor ready and put it between the photo uh, transistor and the propeller. And we are going to then uh, start our reading. So let's enter 100 now. And I'm going to click Send. Sierra Motor. Okay, so now we have our data and uh, we're going to now uh, copy and paste this data over to the uh, Excel. Control C and that is it. That's the program.